It has been half a century since the excavation of King Muryong's tomb from the Baekje dynasty. The tomb is the only one from the Three Kingdoms period that clearly showed the names of those buried and the date of construction. Commemorating the 50th anniversary, a museum displayed more than 5,000 relics all at once for the very first time. Kim bo provides a sneak peek. In 1971, while workers were making a waterway, a shovel hit a hard object. They found a brick chamber tomb dating back around 1,500 years. At the middle of the tomb's passageway stood the stone guardian animal. It was a Chinese custom to have animal-based guardian statues, such as a pig or even an alligator. This guardian animal was the Baekje Kingdom's own version and has a blunt muzzle, wings, and a horn. After passing by the guardian statue with lips and body parts painted red to ward off the evil spirits, the stone plaques revealed who the tomb held, King Muryong, the 25th ruler of the Baekje Kingdom, and his queen consort. This tomb is the only one among all the mounds of the Three Kingdoms period that clearly lets us know the identification of the buried and the time period. Around 5,000 artifacts broaden the boundary of the Baekje history, moreover, that of East Asia. Celebrating half a century since the tomb's excavation, the Gongju National Museum has prepared a special exhibition presenting the 5,232 artifacts unearthed from the tomb, all in one place for the first time. Among the artifacts that were found alongside the king and queen's wooden coffins are gold crowns. Flame and honeysuckle designs decorate the thin gold plate. Gold earrings weighing around 55 grams each, and gold necklaces also show extricate beauty. Other artifacts include a lidded silver cup on a bronze saucer. The silver cup and the bronze saucer and a lid that were unearthed at the queen's head have diverse patterns related to Baekje. It is a valuable artifact that shows the kingdom's philosophy. Displayed for a limited time to keep them well preserved are the king and queen's wooden headrest and footrest. The artifacts are on display until March. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News, Gongju.